Today I'm gonna do a direct comparison of Riverside FM versus StreamYard. And we're actually gonna jump within these two tools and I'm gonna show you different examples of how these tools are different and how they might suit you different. So the first huge key difference is StreamYard is designed for mainly streaming. They have perfected streaming. The user interface is super, super easy. I would almost explain it to being like, sort of like an Apple product. So if you're not super good at tech things and you're looking to create content and just go, 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 StreamYard may be it. And it's, this is the user interface right here. We have the library, which is essentially where our videos are. Then we have the destinations here. You can click add destination and connect your socials. And what's really cool is you can go into different streams of different platforms at the same time. That's another huge difference. So if we click home here, I can create a live stream, a recording, or a webinar. And a recording is essentially just kind of like a video, like what you're watching right now. And if we click on live stream here, we'll go into the studio. I'll give you a quick glimpse of this. This is what it looks like. You can add multiple people to your stream. I don't have a camera turned on right here because obviously I'm using it. So you can add multiple people. You can change all the settings here. You can do virtual backgrounds, hotkeys, audio. You can play songs. Like if you're looking to do like a podcast startup and live stream everything, this is a good choice, guy. You can customize banners. You can add things to the screen here and what's really cool is as comments come in you can see them live on the right hand side here and you can even highlight them to be shown up on the screen that's live so everyone else can see them and there's also a private chat which is pretty cool you can have like moderators in here and such you can add a lot of brandability here is that a word brandability you can put your logo you can change like all the settings the brand colors so that's essentially StreamYard. it's extremely easy and it's mainly designed for streaming it's great for community because we can bring up the chat and it's a great tool on Honestly. Now let's talk about Riverside. Riverside has studio quality videos, whereas StreamYard kind of really struggles when it comes to that. Just to get 4K videos out of StreamYard, you're gonna have to go with their most expensive plan. So Riverside's basic plan has 4K editing or recording, and they just have more customizable features. Like literally after you get done recording your video, they have a built-in video editor that you can literally edit your video in here. So the pros to using Riverside are it's higher quality, recording which is kind of a huge deal for being honest live streaming isn't prioritized per se so this is the video editor and what it looks like and what you can do is transcription editing so if I just highlight a bunch of these words and click delete it will actually edit the video which is very helpful if you're looking to save time video editing this is what the user interface looks like when you sign up it's extremely easy to use you can just click on record plan uh, they also have a scheduler so you can plan this stuff which is cool you can upload other videos to edit they have the video editor and then they have a bunch of AI tools as well. And again, guys, at any point during this video, you can hit up the description and use my affiliate links for more information on these two tools. But I'm gonna continue for now. So another huge feature to consider is how much the tools cost, right? Let's take a look at this. So if we pay monthly for StreamYard, they have a free plan. It kind of sucks though because it has a watermark on it, which is unacceptable on your videos. If you have a watermark on your videos, I lose all respect for you as a creator. That's just me personally though. That being said, their lowest plan is $25 a month at the core and you only get 1080p recordings and three destinations and multi-streaming. The advanced plan is $49 a month and that's where you get 4K recordings and eight destinations to multi-stream and an extra camera. Obviously, you'll save some if you pay yearly. And then Riverside, they have a free plan, but it's only 720p, which is, we can't be using that. That's just straight garbage, for being honest. Then their standard plan is $19 a month and you get 4K video quality at that plan, which is a little better than StreamYard for pricing, but you gotta remember StreamYard has that easy user interface. If you need that, it might be worth it. And then their pro plan starts at 15 hours of track recordings and you get 4K everything else and tons of AI stuff, generated stuff, a teleprompter, a live chat support, etc. So the pricing is a little different. Are you going to prioritize quality? Because that's where Riverside is going to win, but you're gonna not have that easy user interface. Whereas StreamYard, the quality is a little less unless you pay for their higher plan. It's easier to use. That's a huge bonus. This is a tough decision, guys, honestly. At the end of the day, I think it really boils down to what type of content you're going to be creating. If you're looking to do a bunch of interaction and live streaming then I think StreamYard is for you because like their interaction feature is ridiculous. Like when I, I can pop up the comments on screen, it's just I can multi-stream on different platforms. I think I'm gonna go with the more expensive plan with StreamYard to get that 4K capability and go all in on it if streaming is my big feature. But if I'm doing video recordings, 
I feel like I'm going to go with Riverside because the recording quality is there. And I think that's a huge deal when it comes to these like interviews. A lot of people, you need to be prioritizing 4K video footage because I feel like the second you don't prioritize that, like the quality of your videos is just going out the door, guys. You can get away without streaming 4K, but if you're just doing video recordings, kind of has to be in 4K. Again, guys, consider using my affiliate links in the description if you're consider signing up for these tools. I'm also a creator and I feel like I helped you with this. Maybe you could give back and just use my link, please. Also, hit me up in the comments. What are you looking for with these tools? What type of content are you creating? What's your channel? I wanna hear from you. All right, guys, until next time, see ya.